Wuthering Waves devs have listened again. This is honestly huge news. I understand that I seem like I'm glazing the game 24-7 because I'm genuinely having fun, but there are some massive issues like the echo experience. There's multiple issues in the game like the cameras. I understand that there's problems in the game and I haven't fully stepped up to critique the game yet, but I am working on my review of the game, which will include the positives and the negatives. However, that being said, I complained about Genshin, and they never changed anything. They never fixed anything. It would go weeks and months and years, and the same problems persist. And some of the biggest complaints that I now have to delete out of my video, because it doesn't make any sense, because they're already starting to address them. That is why I'm glazing Withering Waves. Even if this isn't the best game there will ever be, even if this isn't as popular as Genshin, at least they are trying. And there are massive issues with performance, with the game, you know, not running on people's phones, with Poppin. I understand that there's problems, but they're working on it. And I've seen a lot of progress from day one to now. And so I see all of this. I see the stuff that they're bringing. The fact that they're already anticipating the rewards aren't good enough. We're going to add some more. This is insane. This is really, really good. They have their finger on the pulse from what I can tell. And uh, I, I just hope they keep cooking. I hope they keep cooking. Now they're pushing up some of the schedules. So the banner for Yin Lin is coming a little bit sooner. Um, they're giving us a free temple. There's a little bit of a breakdown here of all the stuff. They're increasing the drops of Tacit Fields in 1.1, which is coming relatively soon. Reducing the shell cost of Echo Levels in 1.1. Introducing a wave plate storage system, aka if you can't log in for a few days, you will start to generate or accumulate extra wave plates that you can use later, much like the Honkai Star Rail system. They're doing this within the first month of the game. Awesome, I'm very happy with that. Should they have done it at launch? Probably, but they are going to be adding it in the first patch or two. I, I don't know if it's going to be 1.1, maybe it's 1.2, maybe it's 1.3, but they're on it. Uh, double echo yield event this patch. Double rewards three times a day. Okay, cool. Why not? Throw that in there for free. <clears throat> we'll take it. You still need to use solvent, but they're like, okay, well, we might have messed up. Here's 20 solvent. Here is 20 solvent. That is essentially five days worth of energy that they just gave us, which is five days of progress, which is five days sooner. Well, maybe not five days sooner, but sooner to get to level 40 or, or union level 40, sooner to get our weapons, sooner to build some of these characters that we've wanted to build. Awesome. That's great. They're going to give out five weapon limited banner pulls. This isn't a crazy amount of pulls. It's it's just a five pull. And they're saying this is for the Verdant Summon translation. I wish it was a little bit more. I truly do wish it was a little bit more. But it is what it is. However, they're saying a new event is coming this patch with 800 Asterite. Morphable Elite Class Echoes. This is cracked. That is, that is essentially a choosable um, echo. This is kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, what, how many how many echoes you need to get the on element and on set, but this is a huge boost to any character, any class. If you want to build that Havoc character, you've got two Havoc pieces now for them on set. If you want to build Jian, if you want to build Yin Lin, very good uh, reward. They're also adding some stuff. This is going to be on June 6th. They're going to be releasing Yin Lin's banner as well as her her story quest and all that stuff. They're pushing up the banner. I don't know why they're releasing it early. They're going to have Gion and her banner overlapping, which is fine. I mean, you do whatever you want. But it seems like they're actually pushing up content and releasing it sooner. Maybe they realized that, hey, we might not have enough content to keep people grinding and playing. Um, so 1.0 will last until June 28th, after which there will be a little bit of downtime, and then 1.1 is going to drop. My guess is they're trying to push this out before... Um, before people get playing ZZZ. That's what I think. They are dropping this bad boy 1.1 1 .1, uh, as soon as they can. And you know what? Do your thing. Do your, do your thing. I, I'm cool with that. And then they said, for any inconvenience caused by the version timing adjustments, here's also a 10 pull on the limited banner. I understand that pulls aren't everything and compensation isn't everything. But my guys are giving out more rewards for a little bit of a change up in their scheduling than Genshin Impact gives after four years. 
You know what I'm saying? They're saying, we just want you to play our game. We just want you to do some polls, get the characters you want, enjoy. And I, I just, I think that that's cracked. I think that is, that is so good. So, um, there's, there's little other tidbits in here. They talked about there's a new boss coming. Um, they talked about the, the, the new banners that are going to be coming in 1.1, things like that. We, uh, we've got a lot of options in the next, next little bit here. They talked about adding some extra limits on how many cooking items you can buy so you don't blow like 5 million credits on something. They're also giving us, I think it said somewhere in here, like a million credits, which is good. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. In recent updates, we've disabled combat camera correction on PC by default. We've also optimized the default values and range of combat camera settings. This is stuff that they need to work on. They've got kind of like a Q&A here. Here's the thing, though. And, and I know it's not Genshin versus Wuthering Ways. It, it is, though. It is. It is. They're competing for the same market share. When Genshin Impact does a Q&A or like, hey, what's going on here? They're like, um... Sometimes the animations are a little too flashy. Can you turn them down? Or, hey, can we get more dogs to pet in the game? Yes. Yes, we sure can, travelers. We're going to add more dogs to pet. In this, they're like, the combat camera sucks. What are you going to do about it? Like, I, I feel like a lot of the, the things, ghost touching issues on mobile, where it feels like you're pressing the button and it's not working. Like, they're addressing actual mechanical issues with the game and how they're going to address them controller mode experiences, all these different things. I, I just think it is so obvious that Kuro Games, that Wuthering Waves, wants to make a good product. And they haven't done perfectly. And they probably could have launched better. And maybe they launched too early. But they are listening. They are working to optimize these things and do some quality of life stuff that honestly... I'm not used to this. I am not used to the games responding this quickly. Now, Genshin is the outlier. I think that they are finger off the pulse. They have no idea what the community wants. Well, they know what the casual community wants, but they just like don't seem to respond well to feedback and they don't really care. And then HSR, I think HSR does a good job. I've already made videos about HSR and, and, and I think HSR is a good game. But I think that this is a very good sign for the future of Wuthering Waves. And if you want to play this game long term, it seems like they're going to keep working and cooking and building this game up and up and up. And I think that that's a good sign. I'm not saying you should spend all your money on this game or anything like that, because you never know. One or two patches later, maybe we have this massive down, you know, downward spiral. We don't know. For every issue that has happened, they've addressed it. They haven't just like sweeped it under the rug, from what I can tell. I think that that's a good thing. So, I don't have much more to say other than I think that the devs are listening. I think that they're they're chugging along, and as long as the game is fun, I'm gonna play the game. It's as simple as that. As long as the game is fun, I'll be there, and uh, I still want to play ZZZ and other games. And they're gonna have to work hard to keep their audience they're trying to steal market share then you better work hard to keep it but um for right now kuro games is nailing it keep going